evening out, everyone. Today's Tuesday, March the 23rd, 2021. All day night. Vlog number 1451. Currently, I'm just adding and uploading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> so... I kind of noticed that I'm, I'm talking low and it's because my voice is like starting to clear up and I've actually been giving a crap about it. <laughs> my voice as well as like my hearing and my ears being like all jacked up with stuff in them and just plain not even being able to move my neck due to that. Um, <clears throat> but it's almost like I have a bloody nose though, to be honest, like, yeah. But uh, it's due to being like congested or whatever for a really long time and me just not doing anything about it. Because the thing with being alive is staying lubricated. And that's how you know that you're alive. Um, is because you need to be, you need to keep those sinus passages lubricated. Um, and I'm way too lazy to do that, apparently. Um, or something, I don't know. I, I never really know, I, I never really knew anything about medicine until I started working in the field. Um, so, that's probably why. I watched Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the fraud, the fraud millionaire, anybody seen that? Man, that is one elaborate ass scheme. Now that I look back on it, and they are freaking brave to do that. That is so insane. Um, I watched more Seinfeld, I guess. Um, <clears throat> this eye um i noticed like when i'm i want to i'm done with the vlog i guess that this eye um will still feel funny but i just constantly have to uh keep on um basically using that stuff um I'm not really sure why yet though. I don't know what the actual, like the root pro problem, the cause of it all is. Um, but I do know that that's my situation and that's like my truth is that I have to constantly use um, that stuff. So the, um, it stays, um, moisturized because um literally i had like a really weird taste in my mouth and it, it, it's <laughs> and i never have a taste in my mouth because i never have any lubrication i don't ever have any saliva um you know in there so <laughs> when it's moist there's there's able to be some movement in there so that's why there's a taste. And I think that's why it's all bloody in there. I think it's just, it's gonna only get better as long as I continue to use this stuff. My sneezing is better. I still have the urge to sneeze though. It's a very, like, unfounded urge, like, it's, but, um, it's, it's very much there. 
but um, I still don't necessarily sneeze because it's going to hurt like a beast and I'm scared that blood's just going to shoot out like I blew my nose into the tissue and I, I didn't realize it but when I looked down in the tissue there was a red spot and I was like I was like, did that just now come out or was that already there? <laughs> it was like a perfectly round circle of red blood. But I do know that I have to sneeze like all the time. Um, I ate some blueberries today. Um, tomato soup that I warmed up in the like aluminum can thing. Um, <clears throat> leftover salad and um, <clears throat> some vegetables, like a vegetable tray with like buttermilk ranch, um, broccoli, and some carrots and some celery. Um, I watched the best of Kramer, Cosmo Kramer, and um, I think I started watching Newman. I didn't finish watching that. Um, and the best of Jerry Seinfeld. My mouth tastes like, you know, like iron, like the taste of blood. <laughs> That's how I taste. I can taste it. And an update. Um, so because all of this fluid I've been like losing and stuff, um, in my face, I think it's actually helping with my headache. Um, I think I was able to actually get the obstruction out of my ear or out of the way in the sense that it's no longer an obstruction. However, I feel though that it's still there and it has the potential to just continue being there as always. I've never been able to reach this thing and get it out. <laughs> and every time I go to the doctor, it's always just been too fast paced to where I can't stop them and tell them that they need to actually, you know, get it out their self. Um, um, but yeah, like I had a mild headache today, but I do think that they're getting better because um, normally it would just be unilateral, so it would just be on the left side and it would just be throbbing, like pounding. Um, Whereas today, it was there, but it, was, it felt more like a cluster headache um, on both sides, though, and it felt even on both sides. Um, so, yeah. And my fever is still very much there. Um, and I think I, like, napped all day today. I don't even like this brand of lollipops. I don't know why the hell I was just like, oh, let me just go into Walmart and get Dum Dums. Like, never. It's like the cheapest lollipop ever. Um, last night, I'm so mad at myself about this. Um, I had some um, Blazing Hot ramen noodle. Sprite is good because like if you're sick, like you don't, you're like not in a good mood. Um, so like it's like sort of you have to drink it because you won't drink anything else. Like you won't actually drink water, and that's only that's it's it's not healthy at all for you. Getting sick is not healthy at all for you. Um, but it's like you have to because like you already feel like terrible and you've pretty much given up on life. Um. And so, you know, you just, you just do it just to, just cause you don't care at that moment in time. Um, ow, I knew it was really itchy. Um, but, um, you shouldn't be drinking it like as like at all. Actually, you really, you really shouldn't drink Sprite. 
when you get sick, you really shouldn't because it's gonna like it's gonna really mess up your health unless you have like um stomach issues like you have uh literally like if you have um mm, mm. anyways forget the stomach issues thing yeah that's the point i was trying to make i'm normally a water person so you should always just drink water um because i'm like a grown-ass adult you know like i don't know and i care about how i look and my health water's always gonna be like healthy the healthiest thing to go with i watched autumn's last video was up today i think I had a huge white head. It wasn't a white head, it was a gigantic pore thing here that I got out. You should have seen it. It was the biggest one I've ever, ever seen. I mean, this thing, this spot right here was like infected. It, it actually had turned white and it had scabbed over white, you know, like clear. So I was like, okay, it's ready to come out because I thought it was just like a white, white head, like pimple. But it wasn't when I squeezed something else came out yo it was a poor thing for the future if you're my friend and we're hanging out and there's just like gobs of goo coming out of my nose when I laugh please expect that to be normal Prince is getting big hey big guy he knows he's getting big his training is different now I'm actually training him like he's a man now because before he, I couldn't tell if he was a guy or a girl. But now he even at, behaves like a man. He's more like, you know, manly. I don't know how to describe that, but he's more, you know, versus me being a girl, he's more like, you know, his own weird way. Stop trying to eat my camera. Stop it. Go. Get. Go over there. We have to treat him like he has a, he has a sex. He has a gender. <clears throat> Whereas before I trained him like just a little baby. Just like a little baby would need to to learn stuff. He's such a good guy. He like asked permission for everything. My mom was like, just get get rid of Jigglypuff. We hate that one. Keep keep this one. Just keep him. And then she'll ask me to get rid of him too. And I'll just be like so upset. <gasps> no no no. No practice. No scratchy. Even my brother, he's such a softie. He likes, um... He likes bunny rabbits. <laughs> he's into rabbits. And he likes cats. He, like fur he likes furry things. <laughs> it's the funniest freaking thing. Um... <laughs> so he's like a softie for my cat. <laughs> Man, you're getting your fur everywhere. I'm so excited about training him, though. It's actually so legit how, um, how, like, the integrity of his gender is. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Something really funny that I saw on YouTube was someone was, like, <laughs> if they can... <laughs> If they can, they called up the clinic and they were like, <laughs> if they can get like leftovers at the end of the day for the vaccine. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Like, no. I laughed.
talked about this for a long time. <laughs>